A union query can be written in SQL, but cannot be written in the design view of the query grid. So this is one element of querying that must be done in SQL. Now by a union query, I mean a query that will join the results of one table to another. So in our case here, using the data 2013 file, I'd like to have a single result of all our customers and all of our employees. Now these two tables are totally unrelated, except by things that they may sell or buy but to each other they are unrelated. It could be quite useful to have a single list of all of them, which I could then use to then email everybody the same thing, as an example. So how do we carry out a union? Well, the first thing is we need to have a select statement based on both tables has exactly the same number of columns. If it doesn't have the same number of columns, then we cannot union them together. So we need to firstly think about the employees table. So perhaps I would just like a simple list of the person's name, so let's have their first name, a surname, and town they live in. So that's town city from the employees, and then obviously their email address. Now I may wish to also add a flag field so that I can determine who are customers and who are employees. So the flag for this first set would be employees. So that would give me one, two, three, four, five fields. Let's actually have their ID as the first one. So ID, first name, surname, town city, email, and then a flag to say these are my employees. So with my customers, to have the same number of fields that match up, I would need the customer ID, first name, last name. Town city match up in here would be city. Email would be email address. And then another flag to say these are my customers. So that's having looked at both tables. We then determine what we're after. We then go to create new query. In SQL, obviously. Select ID, comma, first name with a space in, so we need those square brackets, comma, surname, comma, square brackets for the town slash city because it has an inacceptable character, comma, email, comma. Now the flag field, I want a piece of text to appear, so I need to put that text in speech marks. That's going to be employee as flag. So we've seen the as keyword used before to give our columns a name from TBL employees. And then we view, it pulls all of our employees with the employee flag back in the SQL. And then going to create another one that will pull out the customers and then we'll push them together. That way we can check that none of our syntax is wrong. So select customer ID, comma, first name, comma, last name, comma, city comma email address and then our flag here which is going to be customer customers in speech marks as flag from tbl customers and then we'll view see if that works and that appears to be working customer first name last name city email address and flag so now we have both sql statements working we need to put them together as a union so let's take this sql statement and move to the other query, which is the employees one. And all I simply do is take the one select statement as I have there, put the word union, and then paste in the second SQL statement. And as long as the number of columns match up, I will get an amalgamated result. So I go to view, and we see all of our employees, and then all of our customers directly afterwards. And that gives us a flat query the query is still live, so if any changes happen to take place in the customers or the employees, every time I run this query, it will pull in the latest information, but it means that I can then use this data elsewhere, perhaps in a marketing email list. So let's do a save as, QRY, union, employees, and customers. Okay, refresh my query list, and you'll see that the icon is different for a union query. It has two little circles, two little loops that join together. And you can only look at the SQL for a union query. There is no design option here. So you either have to write the thing yourself or look at the result. There's no design option for you to pick and choose. So all of the little bits that we've done about writing the SQL becomes important now with a union query because you have to write the SQL yourself. And they are straightforward as long as you remember that the number of columns must be exactly the same from both tables that you're trying to create a union result for. When you're amalgamating data like this with a union query, if there are duplicate records in both sets of data, 
then you don't see the duplicate records. You only see one of them. And by duplicate records, I mean that every value, every one of those columns must be exactly the same in the second data set. Well, it won't be in our case because we're putting a flag of employee and a flag of customer. But sometimes it could be depending on the data that you're trying to merge together. If when you're trying to merge data together like this, you actually want the duplicates to be there, not for the second one to be missed off, then you actually add a little extra here to the union statement, which is union all. That way you will see all the records, not lose any of the duplicates. So that's the very useful and quite powerful union statement that works with multiple select queries. We could union a third set of data into here as well, just by coming to the end, return, union, and then another select statement. And as long as it has the same number of columns, it will be added to our list.